Hey everybody, this is part two of the bread and butter pickles that I was making earlier. It has now been three hours with the cucumbers soaking in the salt and the ice. So once you get done with all of that, you know, with the soaking for three hours, then you want to wash them off. Um, I keep them in my big bowl. I just run the cold water and I just keep running my hands through it and then I'll tip it off and just I kept rinsing because you want to get most of that salt off and I did look up the question <laughs> that I had earlier about why we use the pickling salt as opposed to regular salt. Regular salt has additives in it and pickling salt is pure and it's extra fine so that is the reason and without all the, um, the chemicals in it it makes your pickles turn out better. So but usually if it says in the recipe kosher salt you can use pickling salt as well okay so i'm going to show you the this is our pickles and onions all right um now i have a double batch here so i'm only making one batch at a time in the pot because you have to make the brine in the pot so i'm going to show you how to make the brine now we're going to use celery seed we're going to use ground turmeric which is very good for you by the way. Mustard seed, ground cloves, white vinegar, and sugar. There's a lot of sugar in, these, in this recipe. So first what we're going to do is we are going to put the sugar in. Uh, this, if you're making just one batch for four pounds of cucumbers, um, it's five cups of sugar. So you want to turn this on like a medium high for right now. Put in your five cups of sugar. And then you're going to put in four cups of white distilled vinegar. White distilled vinegar you can find in your canning section. All right. Then we are going to just stir that around a little bit. You want to get that sugar to dissolve. As it gets hotter, it will dissolve. I don't know if you can see, but I've got my canner here. Um, I've already washed my, you want to wash your, your jars, your lids, your rings, wash them with warm soapy water, and then run them through the canner for, I usually do about five minutes just to sterilize them. And now they're sitting and resting over here on the side. All right. So to this, we are going to add two tablespoons of mustard seed, two teaspoons of celery seed, which is much finer than the mustard seed. We're going to add one and a half teaspoons of turmeric and a half a teaspoon of crushed ground cloves. So we're just going to simmer this. We want to bring it to a boil. Let me turn this way up so I can bring this to a boil. Now the turmeric will clump a little bit, so I just try to mash that up against the side of the pan to make sure that it's all even in the pan. I think out of all of my canning recipes, this is the one everybody asks me to bring more of. I have people on the East Coast begging me to send them some. I don't know how, quite how that would work. I'll have to figure out how to mail some. I'm just worried about them breaking in transit. So I figured if I teach everybody how to make them, then they can just make their own. Okay. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second, let it reach a boil. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to put our cucumbers right in there. Once we put the cucumbers in there, we're gonna return it to a boil. You can see this pretty good the way I've got it. So. I'm going to pause this for a second until it comes to a boil. Okay, here we are. We've reached a boil with this. So I've weighed this out, and this is four pounds right here 
of the pickle and onion mixture. We're just going to carefully drop that in there so you don't burn yourself. And because the pickles are cold, the temperature is going to drop again. So then we have to wait for it to return to a boil again. Instinct tells me I want to just dump it in there, but I know I'm going to get burned. So <laughs> let's not do that. It's less mess I have to clean up too. While I was on pause, I went ahead and put my rings and my lids in this boiling water for a couple minutes just to get them heated up. You want your lids and your rings to be warm because your glass jars are going to be warm. You never want to put cold into a boiling pot of, wa of uh, water. Okay, so there's that. And we're going to stir this up in here. Uh, smells heavenly. If you've ever had the bread and butter pickles, gosh, they are so good. I just went through a jar myself in the last couple days. I love them. Okay, so I've got it all stirred up good because you want to get those spices all wrapped around here. And just let it return to a boil. Once it returns to a boil, we're going to turn it off and then I'm going to ladle it into the canning jars. You see, for this I usually use pint canning jars. This is the canning jar. This is called a lid. It goes on top of there. And then these are called your rings and they go on there. I figured I'd, not that anybody doesn't know what they are, but if you've never canned, you might not know what they re are referred to. Um, this is a little magnet, so when you're reaching in your water, you can get your your lids. It's all magnetized, so you don't get burned. And another important thing to have when you're canning is one of these guys. It's a funnel, so when you're putting your mixture in, it's a lot easier. I think what I'm going to have to do is turn this off for right now and slide this back so you can actually see what I'm doing here. Let me just see if I can turn this a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. I just want this to get mixed evenly. quick. Now the trick is you don't want to get these actually cooked because then they won't be crispy. So that's why we just bring it to a boil because they're going to cook for 10 minutes in that water bath. So um, if, you, if you do it too long, I've had my pickles just turn out really mushy. It doesn't mean they're not any good, but I like crispy, crunchy pickles. Watching water boil, huh? This is a very tedious process, and <laughs> it's taken me all the rest of the summer to get everything done. I'm at the point where now I just have to do one more batch of dilly beans, and I do have 50 pounds of potatoes to peel and can as well. Yesterday, I, um, I wish I would have done a video, but yesterday I canned... Yesterday I canned sweet potatoes. So these will be all ready. I had 18 pounds of sweet potatoes. These will be all ready to go. But potatoes are a completely different process because they have to be pressure canned with 10 pounds of pressure because there's no acidity in potatoes. Okay, I'm going to call this. Like I said, I don't want them to get too cooked. So we're going to turn that off. Thing I forgot to grab was my ladle. I'm gonna grab my stronger one. This is 
stuff is kind of heavy. I have this huge drawer full of utensils. There we go. Okay, so here we go. My jars are nice and warm. The, um, the lids and the caps are pretty warm too. So we're going to just scoop this in like this. So I usually put in a good amount of pickles and then I'm going to focus on putting juice in. And you don't want to fill this up too much with juice. You want it to be about right about up to this ring right here. And you want to do this, shake it around a little bit, tap it because you get water bubbles in there. You can also take like a um, what do you call them? A chopstick. I'm having trouble with words today. Um, you want to take a, you can take a chopstick and just kind of poke it so the air bubbles come out as well. So, so that's about good for one right there. Okay. So then you just repeat the process until you finish this pan. I probably did way too many jars. I just wanted to have too many instead of not enough. There we go. Just be very careful because this is really super hot. this recipe made. I want to say six pints. I doubled it. Okay. I'll probably get in trouble for the music in the background. I don't own the rights to the music in the background, but when I cook, I've got to have something going. There we go. mine kind of full. This is making a lot more than I thought. So far I've got two, four, five, this is six. I think this makes like seven or eight. mess, I tell ya. Yeah, this is going to be the last jar. Because I'm making more brine after this, I will just leave this like this, but you can throw away the rest of it if you have too much. Alright, 
So next, we do is take your lids and your rings. Well, first thing actually, because these are so sticky, I recommend getting a couple damp paper towels. And you're gonna to wanna to wipe your, the top of your lids off because you wanna get a really good seal with that lid. So just wipe it off so you're getting all that sticky pickle mixture off. Even though you use the funnel, I always get it all over anyway. I don't know how, but I do. All right, so here we go. We're gonna put the lids on. And you just want these to be finger tight. I mean, don't, you know, cram them because they do need to breathe a little bit. Okay. When I get all these on, then I'll show you. We're going to drop them in the water. And we're just going to boil it for 10 minutes. I'm going to actually put this back on to the burner and turn it back on. Yeah, this is a sticky mess. Ooh, hot. Okay, so we did end up with six, seven pints out of that four cups of cucumbers. I'm not going to worry about wiping these down because they're going right into the water bath anyway. So this is a jar. Um, I forget what they actually call it. A jar grabber is what I call it. I hope it has a different name, but um, I found only the water is about half full up to here because when you put the uh, jars in, it's going to come up. Sometimes I do have to take water out. So we're just gonna lift them with this. It's just to grab it easily. And then you're gonna set them inside the canner. They call it a water bath. This is actually a pressure canner that I'm using only because I'm gonna be doing potatoes and I didn't wanna switch them out. So you can use a pressure canner um, with just the lid off for a water bath. All right, so I have seven of them. They fit in here nicely. You can see. And this will get to a rolling boil. And then, um, like I said, you're gonna set your timer for 10 minutes. And when that's done, you just use the grabber to pull them out and set up um, like a towel here. You see, am I? Oh, I've got it turned around. <laughs> there we go. So you, I just set them right on this cloth here because you don't want to set them right on the counter. Whoops. I'll get the camera going the right way, huh? There we go. So anyway, that is the whole thing from front to back. Um, I will be doing the dilly beans next. Um, I'm also making um, fried cauliflower tonight and salmon patties. So I'll try and do a video for them too.